What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Aaron. This is Photography Feels and today, as promised, we've got the M1 MacBook Air review. But first, play the intro. First of all, thank you for coming back to the channel. Um, if you watched the last video, you'll remember me saying that this video was going to be a review of the new MacBook M1 Air. Yeah, so a little bit of background. Before this, I had a very old MacBook. Um, it was like a 2011 model. You don't need me to tell you that it was absolutely horrendous. So bad. Um, honestly, I don't know how I did anything in terms of making editing photos, making videos. I struggled with it for about two or three years um, and then four weeks ago, something like that, it just decided to completely die, completely die. But it did me a favor because it made me go out and finally make the M1 purchase. So today we are going to do a review, um, but I just want to say it's not going to be a technical review. So if you want to understand CPU, GPU, core thread counts, all of that rubbish, but if you want to know that stuff, this is not the video for you. I'm not technical. This review is going to look at this laptop as a photographer or a videographer who's maybe on a budget just like myself um, and you need to get the most amount of bang for your buck. Um, and I think this laptop is unbelievable. Honestly, I watched countless videos, countless reviews. You, you still have an element of doubt, but all of those doubts are gone. And this laptop is insane. In my opinion, this is insane. So yeah, we're gonna break it down into a few different chapters, which are gonna be as follows. So the laptop and the size. Then we're gonna look at how it handles Lightroom, Photoshop, and Final Cut. And then I'm just gonna go over what my personal favorite things are about this laptop. Anyway, let's go straight into it um, and talk about the laptop physically. So basically I've got the base model. Um, I think it's eight gigabytes, 256 gigabyte hard drive, 13 inch MacBook Air with the M1 chip. Um, as I say, I had a few concerns, honestly, about go going with a 13 inch laptop. My previous MacBook was 15 inch. Um, I'd obviously gotten used to that, that screen size and found that my workflow worked quite well on 15 inch. Within a few days of using this laptop, I soon got over all of these concerns and just figured out a few different things I could do. How I set my screen up, um, which basically gave me the same size image to work on with Lightroom and Photoshop. So the size really shouldn't be an issue. If you've got a 15 inch old MacBook currently and you're not sure you want to upgrade, then really don't worry about the size. The size doesn't matter. One of the biggest bonuses, which I really didn't consider at all or worry too much about was speakers. So the speakers on my old MacBook com were completely useless, honestly. Um, so I just didn't use them. I'm just gonna show you a little example of how good these speakers are. Um, honestly, mind blowing. For such a small laptop, punches well above its weight. It's unbelievable. So here we go. And that's about three quarters volume. So let me just go up to full volume. Play a different song. So as you can hear, the sound quality is unbelievable. I'm not sure how well it's gonna translate on YouTube, but let me tell you this, I'm quite happy to sit here editing photos with the music playing through the speakers, which to me is like a revelation. That's just so nice to not have earphones constantly plugged in. It's just so much more comfortable to just sit and edit, listening to music coming through the speakers. So nice. An obvious thing to talk about in terms of Apple products is obviously just the sheer quality that you get. It's hard to beat, honestly. For a short while, I was looking around and I was contemplating moving over to a Windows system, but then 
after looking at the laptops in shops and things and actually physically getting your hands on them, these Apple products are just far and above everything else, in my opinion. I don't think you can beat Apple. Apple is unbelievable. And especially at this price point as well, that's something I need to mention. This is so cheap. I think I worked out at 750 pound or about 800 and something dollars. It's absolutely insane. At that price point, you cannot get anything better. It's impossible to get anything better. The value for money that this thing gives me and anyone else who's bought this laptop, it's just unbeatable, in my opinion. Everyone knows how good, how good MacBooks are. Anyway, let's jump in to see how well Lightroom and Photoshop and Final Cut performs. It's, I think it's impressive. So here we go, let's jump in. So as you can see, you click Lightroom and it's basically instant. It's just open and ready to rock and roll. Um, so yeah, that straight away is something amazing. Just makes editing so much easier. Um, and then when it comes to actually applying settings and making tweaks to photos, it's just so fast. Like everything is just instant. As soon as you, t as soon as you touch any slider, it's literally, there's just, there's no lag at all. Um, you can do stuff which is quite intensive, like applying an exposure brush, for instance, and it's just perfect. No lag whatsoever. Delete it, gone. Everything just works. Um, now, one thing I will add, this is the latest version of Lightroom. Um, I believe if you haven't updated yet, um, there's lag in certain areas, but this particular latest version of Lightroom is definitely worth it. So. If you've got Lightroom, upgrade to the latest one and it's phenomenal, like so fast. If we jump into the library, we can scroll through, um, we can see all of our images, previews load so fast, and we can just click what image we wanna look at, instant, it's on. We can go into our develop module, instantly there, jump across into our presets, apply my preset, instantly there. I cannot, honestly, I cannot fault it. Um, so yeah, again, just to show you, we can add some, we can add some adjustments here and um, pull the shadows up, up the whites, pull the blacks down, change our white balance. Everything is just, it's just so fast. Honestly, if we pull our blues, make it warmer, colder, warmer, it just works. Honestly, like it, it blows my mind. Every single day I use it, it blows my mind. So yeah, as you can see, I don't think I can show you too much more in Lightroom. It exports really, really, really fast and imports equally as fast. So now I'm just gonna close and I'll show you the exact same thing for Photoshop. So opens so fast. We get to this window where we wanna create a new workspace. So we're gonna create, um, this is like thumbnail resolution for YouTube and create. It's there, it, instant. So then we could add some text. Um, let's just say M1 MacBook review. Perfect, done, super fast. Let's select the text and move it around. It's just, it's honestly mind blowing. I, for me, coming from what, I've, what I'm used to, the speed's insane. It makes working on anything so easy. And then let's do something again, which is quite intensive for Photoshop. We could use a brush. So we go back to our background layer and then let's just paint some black in. It's mental. It just works. It just works. We can delete that, gone. Everything just works perfectly. Super fast, super clean. You will start to enjoy editing photos more. I promise you, like it's so good. Let's go into Final Cut. I'm still currently running the trial, but I'm definitely gonna get it 110% because Final Cut is mind blowing. It's just so easy. Honestly, 100, 100 million percent advise try and final cut. So let's go in. Um, and what we're gonna actually look at here is my previous video's timeline. Um, so the behind the scenes on the jewelry, fo jewelry photo shoot. So let me just show you here. Bear in mind, this is 4K. It's a 4K timeline. Um, let me just show you now. You have to go to our project. So our project here, you can see 2160, that's 4K, 25P, and the footage itself is 4K from my Z6, no issues. So let me just play. It plays absolutely perfectly. All kinds of different things, like I could put a cut here. So as you can see, I've put a cut here in this clip. We could put this, 
transition in and see how it gets on with play. I've got no idea what that transition is all about. It's just a free one I downloaded from the internet, but as you can see, it worked perfectly, like instantaneous, no problem at all. Color grading, let's go into our color wheels here. Boost. Let's give me a bit of a tan, saturation all the way up to the top. And as you can see here in this play window, plays no problem at all. You can do whilst it's playing, pull it right down, play, no problem at all. So yeah, there's not a lot more I can say, honestly. The, if you've got any doubts at all, forget them because this laptop is absolutely insane. Now that we've seen how well it handles Photoshop, Lightroom and Final Cut, I'm just gonna talk about my favorite things. I think it's pretty clear that I absolutely love this laptop. It's made my editing workflow feel effortless. It really has. It's made editing videos now easy and it's no longer a chore. Like I can quite happily sit on the computer for a few hours and edit some videos. I absolutely love it. What's the thing that I love the most about the laptop? Honestly, it's probably the just the pure speed. The, the speed and how easy it makes editing is what I love the most. Honestly, coming from where I've come from, it's just night and day. Second thing I love, the screen. The screen is unbelievable. Again, coming from where I've come from, this screen, I think it's 2.7K, like I say, but everything just looks better. It makes your photos pop. Like I mentioned before, another thing I love is the speakers. The speakers are so good. Um, like I showed you before with the sound quality, unbelievable. And finally, probably the battery. So I can sit and edit videos for comfortably. I've done like five and six hours and I've still got life left in the battery. It's mental. Obviously, you're not gonna get the 18 hours or whatever it is they advertise when you're editing, but you will quite comfortably get six hours probably. Um, like I say, I've had personally five or six hours editing photos and videos. Honestly, guys, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say about the M1 MacBook Air. Honestly, mind-blowing. Like I say, if you are considering one, then don't hesitate, go and get it, and you will not be disappointed, honestly. It's unbelievable. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Go out and treat yourself and buy an M1 MacBook. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and stick around for more reviews. Next video, I might take you to Bali in a Bali vlog. And then after that, I'm gonna do a Z6 review. Um, so yeah, thanks again, guys, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.